I've mentioned before the HP Media Locator. And I want to do a little bit of a deep dive into it to show you some of its essential value. Now this is a foundational program with the Latex. There's almost 600 presets available for the 300 series printers. Um, we have everything on there and from all over the world. And even if the media you have isn't on there, there's a reasonable chance that if you know how to use it effectively, you can find a surrogate media that's almost going to perform exactly like the one you have and will give you a much better chance of success. Nobody has the breadth of third-party media support that HP does. HP Latex has always been focused on third-party media support. We know you're going to use a lot of different types of materials. They're not necessarily HP media. And so we're very committed to creating testing and color presets and evaluations of all these different kinds of medias we print on. So if you'll walk with me a little bit, I'm going to show you some of the features, show you some little tips and tricks, and then really what you have to do is get on the HP Media Locator and learn it for yourself. It's a very important tool. It'll save you a ton of time. It makes you very independent. And it also allows you to understand how things are made so you can use the templates and build them yourself. So when you start, you have some idea of a rational place to start from. The other thing the Media Locator really does is it allows you to understand the different categorizations of medias. You know, that you start seeing things in groups, that these are similar to one another and these are different from one another and how those groups are divided. So if you'll uh, kind of walk through this with me, I want to show you some of the features of the HP Media Locator. So when I use the HP Lo Media Locator, the first thing I do is I select Latex from the drop-down menu. The next thing I'm going to do is select my device model. Now for me, I leave the region blank. Um, I want to be able to look in regions that even if the media isn't available in the United States, it may be very similar to the media that's available in Asia or Latin America or Europe. So I like to leave region blank. Uh, I want to search in all regions, in other words. And then device models, what I have here is a 360, so there's your 360. There are 596 records found. That's how many medias that we have evaluated. You can search by application. That is, you can do by carpets, design, double-sided flags. There's a big selection of applications here. You can also search by supplier. As you see, almost everybody is going to be in there. And this is from around the world, so a lot of this may not be sold in the United States, but Edutex, for example, is a, a big banner company out of uh, Eastern Europe, and they make a lot of banners that might be very similar to the banners you have. Felix Scholler, Fisher Textiles, Everything is in here. Also, you can search by types. Banner, cotton polyester, here's films, papers, PETs. And then there's going to be subcategories. For example, if you do self-adhesive vinyl, you also have grades. See, it says monomeric, polymeric, PVC-free substrates. And then over here, you have self-adhesive, all these different grades, calendared, monomeric, calendared polymeric, cast vinyl, films, papers, perforated, and textile. So here's perforated. Here's the HP OneView perforated adhesive. That's our window perf. There's also other companies. Here's Avery's window perf. So if you had a window perf, but it wasn't one of these window perfs, you might try one of these presets, which is going to give you pretty good results on a window perf. HP, for example, when you click view, it's now going to open another tab. What you'll see here is that for this window perf, in the past, for the 25500 we, and for the 200, 260 series, 280 series, every rip had its own specific presets. We didn't support one for Shiraz on this. Wasatch didn't have one. Ergosoft didn't have one here because everything had to be made in the RIP itself. We've changed that. Now for the 300 series, everything you have is actually made for all RIPs because HP has now taken over the responsibility of building the color work. So what you have here is a preset where you have two choices. You have 16 pass 200% ink 
and 20 past 230 percent ink. Now those are very high ink loads, but keep in mind this is a window perf. The goal of a window perf is you're going to put it in a window, either a vehicle or in a window in an office, and you need to be able to see color even though you removed all these holes. So maybe 20 or 30 percent of the image is going to be removed, and that's going to change the appearance. So we're putting a high ink load down so that we can compensate for all the removed holes because that's what you have with a perf. In fact, this is a pretty good approach in my opinion. This would be what I would use for a lot of different window perfs, and then I might make subtle adjustments. But this is how you go and get media from the HB Media Locator. Now I'm going to switch back to the other tab here in a moment. So we also have here an Avery window perforated film, and then an Orajet, and then NAR, which I believe is um, primarily Asia. So these selections are very helpful so that you have multiple options if you don't have the actual window perf we have. I call it surrogate profiling. You're finding the closest, nearest relative to the thing that you have by using our very wide selection of material that's on the HP Media Locator. For a lot of instances, this is a much smarter approach than just using, you know, one generic vinyl or one generic banner for all unknown medias. Most medias have a category. They fit different types. And we have those types listed in our Media Locator. You can also use the Media Locator to do search terms. You can put in actual search terminology. So for example, under self-adhesive I might put in perf. And that probably indicates it's a perforated and some more options show up. These may be different types of perforations like the Nessian is a Solvo print. That's a very nice uh, window dot print uh, film. Using the locator is always the first place to start. The more you know it, the more you benefit from all the research we've done on different types of materials, and it will definitely help you be a lot more effective and successful the first time you try it with the latex printers. I can't emphasize enough how important the HP Media Locator is to being very good with the latex printers. It's entirely possible to use the locator all on its own and not even do any color profiling because you can almost always find an effective surrogate that's already on the locator that'll do the work for you. I mean, there's 600 different medias on there, and most of them fall into families or categories. So if you're not sure, check the locator. Spend some time with it. Search with it. It's a fantastic tool. We keep adding more medias to it. It's growing all the time. It is the single biggest, most effective way to print successfully with the latex printers is to take advantage of this tool.